My 37M wife's 34F sister 29F tried to kiss me and now my wife is spiraling. Help me. Sorry for how long this is, TL, doctor at the bottom. As the title says, my wife's sister made a pass at me at a recent family gathering and I have no idea what to do. For context, I think my wife Jenna is absolutely gorgeous but she has some really negative body image issues. This is in large part because of her sister Mary who is very conventionally attractive, as opposed to Jenna's more unconventional but emo striking beauty. Mary was a successful model until a couple years ago and now works in the fashion industry. In our early days of dating when I would tell Jenna she's beautiful, she would always say just wait until you see my sister. When I did finally meet her family, she would randomly press me for weeks to talk about her sister, whether I thought she was more attractive than her, etc. I always told her the truth, that I think Mary is attractive in a boring way, and that I think my wife is much more beautiful and interesting to look at. She wouldn't let it go until I confronted her about how uncomfortable it made me and asked her what was going on. This is when she told me that she always had a chip on her shoulder about her looks because of being compared with her sister growing up. They fell into the classic smart one pretty one dynamic their whole lives. She also said Mary had a habit of being flirty with all of her exes, and warned me that it would happen to me eventually. She then started sobbing and begging me to not cheat on her with her sister, to which I forcefully said I would never cheat on her with anyone, let alone her sister. I've been crazy about my wife since day one and there's literally no woman on earth who could come close to her. I honestly didn't believe her about the flirting at first, I assumed it was just an extension of her insecurity, but I was wrong. Whenever we get together with my wife's family, Mary always finds ways to touch me and make little innuendos comments about me or my body. It's super uncomfortable for everyone, especially my wife, and I've called her out on it before. She'll cool it for a while but eventually start doing it again. It's been 6 years of this, and every time it happens my wife is upset for days and I have to do a lot of reassuring. On to the current problem. A few days ago we were at my Mills birthday party, and Mary asked me to help her grab some things from the garage. As soon as we walked into the garage, she turned and pressed me up against the door with her whole body and started trying to kiss me. I immediately pushed her off and asked her what the duck she was doing. She started giggling and saying she was just doing what we both have been thinking and kept insisting you know you want to. I told her she was out of her mind and ran out of there. I went straight to my wife and told her we were leaving. The whole ride home she was asking me what was wrong, I wasn't sure whether to tell her because I knew how much it was going to hurt but I also thought Mary would probably try to spin it as me making a move on her so I knew I had to just say it. I told her everything and she cried the whole way home. For the last several days Mary has been calling and texting my wife doing exactly what I thought she would do, even telling my wife that I said she Mary was the hottest girl I've ever seen, which I had to assure my wife a million times that I did not and would never say even though she believes my account of the situation. She's been a complete wreck the last several days, she's hardly eating, she pulls away from my touch when I try to hug her or just hold her hand, she says she feels hideous and disgusting and I don't know what to do. This is the lowest I have ever seen her and it hurts to see how much she's hurting. I have no idea what to do to help her heal from this. Reddit, what should I do? Update, my 37M wife's 34F sister 29F tried to kiss me and now my wife is spiraling. Help me, I got a few requests for updates so here it is. I first want to thank everyone so much for your advice. It was extremely helpful and gave me a lot to think about. I'm especially thankful for the folks that asked me how I was doing. I realize that I have literally never had a chance to check in with myself after these things happen, and I've actually been holding a lot of frustration and resentment about it all. I've been harassed for years and it has either been brushed off or it's been eclipsed by the impact it has on my wife. I don't blame her for it, but this has been a good lesson in me not burying my feelings for the sake of others, even for her. I also want to clarify a couple of things that came up. Several people asked about how my wife's family feels about all this, and I explained in a comment that her parents are toxic and treat Mary as the golden child, even though my wife is a freaking neuroscientist, amazingly talented musician, speaks three languages fluently and another two conversationally. My wife and her family are seriously the only people who don't seem to understand how exceptional she is. I remember meeting one of my wife's family friends and talking to them about her research, and they said, oh wow. Her parents just told us she works at a university. Whereas my parents literally introduce her as the family genius to everyone. It makes me so ducking angry to think about how her Ashol family has stolen her shine her whole life. 
she's literally a renaissance woman but all they care about is looks and money. Some folks ask me why I would ever put myself in a situation alone with Mary given everything she's done. I have no good answers for that other than I never thought she would actually try to do anything. That possibility just didn't exist in my head. I realize now that I should have seen this would happen eventually, and that I should have been less concerned with keeping the peace and more concerned with shutting Mary's poop down before it escalated to this point. Hindsight is 2020. Anyway, on to the update. The night I posted, I told my wife that if she wanted to try to repair her relationship with her sister I would respect that, but that I don't feel comfortable being around her for the foreseeable future. I said Mary has obviously been deeply jealous of my wife her whole life because she is a hollow, ugly person whose entire value has an expiration date while my wife actually has substance. I said that I think her whole family is toxic and has done nothing but put her down her whole life, but that only she can decide whether she still wants them in her life. I also told my wife that while I don't blame her for her emotional reaction, her insecurity is something that she needs to work on for our relationship to be healthy. What Mary did was s time -ul assault and she's been s time -ul harassing me for years, but I have consistently put aside my own feelings about this problem because of how it affects her, and that has prevented me from getting the support that I need, too. I told her that her reaction only serves to punish herself and me for her sister's behavior, and there's no reason to give her that kind of power. I also told her something that a commenter said that really resonated with me, the only people who have ever considered her second best are her and her family. Everyone else sees her for who she really is. She was crying the whole time and agreed that she needed to go to therapy to work on her insecurity. We were able to find a therapist who specializes in body image self-esteem issues to work with her individually, and we're looking for a couple's therapist too. My wife sent a message to her parents and sister that explained exactly what happened and told them she would reach out to them if she ever feels ready to repair their relationship. We blocked all of them everywhere but Mary has of course been spamming my family and our friends with nonsense, claiming I attacked her, I'm a drug addict, I abuse my wife, all kinds of bullpoop that, thankfully nobody believes. My wife is still down in the dumps but I can see that things are getting a little better. She's eating and sleeping more and she's cuddling with me in the mornings again which is nice. Now I'm planning a surprise getaway for us this weekend. We're going to one of our favorite places and I'm going to wine and dine her and try to make her feel like the goddamn queen she is. I want to thank you all again for your help. You really helped me understand the severity of the problem and again, thanks for helping me connect with my own feelings about all this. Y'all are the best. Story 2, my girlfriend invited her ex over to my apartment and I'm absolutely livid right now. I live in a big city in my own apartment. My girlfriend Lily lives with her roommates, but if I'm being honest she basically lives over here 80% of the time. Early today yesterday while I was at the gym with my friend Mike she texted me that she had an old friend she hasn't seen in a while that's in town and that it would be nice to have a quiet place to catch up. I said they could use my apartment and that I'd go out for dinner with Mike so they'd have time to catch up. During this time I'm at the gym so I was in rush. I didn't ask who she was inviting over act. Well apparently I should as the old friend she was apparently catching up with alone in my apartment was her only ex-boyfriend Kyle. Around 30-ish mins after this conversation I get a text from her saying they're at the apartment. I just said bed and continued with my friend. Mike and I finished our workout around 7pm and decided we'd go to Whole Foods as their hot salad bars got some great food. We ate there and finished around 8 colon 30-ish. I'm on my way home now and honestly I wasn't expecting anything other than just saying hi and heading my ass to bed. Poop had been a long ass day and honestly I was just ready to get to sleep. I arrive home around 9pm, and at this point I had no idea if her friend was still over or not. I was secretly hoping they weren't as I didn't feel like socializing at all, but hey I'll take one for the team. When I walked in the apartment I see some big ass Timberland boots that obviously are a man's. I'm immediately like duck her friend brought her boyfriend I'm going to have to stay up and socialize now. I take off my shoes and jacket and start heading down the mini hallway. As I enter the living area I see my girlfriend sitting on the couch with a man at separate ends but staring right at each other talking. My girlfriend notices me and jumps a little I didn't really find this odd at the time but now I thinking back on it makes sense. At this point I'm still completely oblivious. I say hello and start walking towards the man. I'm looking around the house at this point for her friend honestly I just thought she was in the bathroom or some poop. I shake the guy's hand and say some poop like hey I'm Lily's boyfriend. He replied back in like a cocky ass way with some I'm Kyle Lily's ex. I was like oh my fault I thought you were friend's boyfriend. 
Then it got a little quiet and I rapidly come to the realization that my girlfriend has been alone with her ex in my apartment for the last couple hours. I look at my girl and say so I'm taking this was your old friend? She said yeah in a soft ass voice. At this point I wasn't letting myself jump to any conclusions but I'm tired and I don't feel like socializing. I'm also now upset my girl was just chilling with her ex in my apartment. It got quiet again and these two made zero effort to continue whatever convo they were having just moments ago. Lily asks how my day was and I was like it was fine I guess again getting the vibe I'm interrupting something. At this point I'm fed up only like a minute or so had passed since my question to her and I look at him and asked Kyle hey do you mind ending it here for today I actually got some things I got to talk to Lily about he said some she invited me over though and we're still reminiscing on the good old days. I look at Lily she can't even look me in my eyes. I look back at Kyle and say alright let me rephrase it this is my apartment and I'm telling you to leave. He then looks at her and says do you want me to leave? At this point and I'm not proud of it I completely lose my poop. Saying what the duck do you mean by that? I don't give a poop if she wants you to leave or not. I'm telling you to get the duck out my house. Lily is telling me to calm down and turns and tells him he needs to leave. Kyle gets up and heads towards the hallway to get his poop. I follow and he ends up leaving. I come back and Lily is now pissed at me saying I embarrassed her. I embarrassed you? She then goes on about how my reaction is totally uncalled for as she told me he was coming over and asked. I was like no Lily you said a ducking friend was coming over a ducking friend. Not once you mentioned this friend was a male much less your ducking ex. She then says my reaction was bullpoop and that I acted like an ass. I tell her you were with your ducking ex in my apartment. Do you not understand how much of a duck you that comes across as? I then asked why the duck y'all were meeting in the first place and she tells me he's going through rough times and needs someone to lean on. And that she just wanted to be there for him as he's a nice person and that by hanging with him in my apartment it shows nothing shady is going on. I explain how that is bullpoop and that if my ex stared having issues and I was the one comforting her she would be pissed. She was like no she'd understand because she has empathy. I was like that's bullpoop Lily you got pissed at me at the gym cause I smiled when a girl complimented my form when lifting. She then was like she's done talking and stormed out. I didn't say anything, I didn't chase, I haven't reach out. I just sat on the couch and thought about what the duck just happened. I then called my father who gave me some great advice. She then texted me these two hours ago. Can we talk? I'm sorry for not telling you it was my ex that I invited was inviting over. I don't want you to get the wrong idea nothing happened. Nothing is going to happen. I love you. He messaged me out of the blue he needed someone to talk to. I didn't think that much of it I'm sorry for deceiving you that sounds like BS right? I didn't think much of it then followed by sorry for deceiving you like obviously you did think about it or you would have been truthful. I wanted to talk to him at your place because I didn't want you to assume something else was going on please talk to me I love you. Obliviously if she sees this she'll know I'm talking about us but she doesn't use reddit. I haven't responded yet I'm leaning towards wanting to break things up with her after talking about all this with my pops. Not for her talking him but for how I felt in the moment it all was happening. It's a huge red flag for me that she said old fiend instead of ex I still don't get it. I'm the moment of me getting visibly upset with her ex she didn't take my side once. When I was nice before I even recognized him it felt like I was the odd man out. I just felt like she doesn't respect me. Not on some 1950s poop where the women has to respect the man. But if the roles were reversed and I was with my ex at her house I would have backed my girl when she was getting mad. I would have called my ex out for talking cocky to my girl act. I'm still very pissed so I don't think I should be talking to her right now it's currently around 3 am. Honestly I'm just ducking tired edek if I'm pissed. Edit 1, it's currently 12 semicolon 44 pm it's already been long ducking day and will continue to be a long ducking day. I've seen your comments I'll update tonight or tomorrow depending what the duck ends up fully playing out. It's been a hofess level of a day so far. I'm on like 3 hours of sleep. P.S. I added paragraphs. This whole writing was my just typing the words from thoughts last night I had no idea so many would view this. Update, this poop is long I doubt you actually want to read it all sorry I just poured my thoughts into it. It's currently around 7 p.m. when writing this and honestly the last 13-ish hours I've been up have been ducking draining to say the least. I awoke in the morning to my phone going absolutely nuts with notifications from Reddit. I'm honestly like oh duck why the actual duck did I decide to pour my personal thoughts out into a reddit post? I began to scroll y'all's comments and to say I was shocked is an absolute understatement. Literally almost all of y'all are actively taking my side, 
and I mean I was just scrolling this morning just looking for that one comment that was taking hers. It did not come. What surprised me the most were the amount of women in this thread that said they would never do this to their man and that it is beyond disrespectful. I mean those comments hit the hardest this morning as those were my thoughts exactly. Last night was a ducking stress storm for me to be honest. I couldn't believe what the duck had just happened. As y'all can guess from my post I live alone so there wasn't anyone at my crib that I could talk to so I decided to call the one man that's had my back since day one. My pops. As many have messaged me and many have commented I will go into detail on what exactly our phone call entailed. First I'm gonna go back to when it originally happened so that it makes more sense. Also, when reading back my thoughts from last night it was clear I was rushing at the end and honestly just fed up with everything at that point so I skipped a lot of details. Okay to start Lily had just stormed out of my apartment at this point when I called her out that she wouldn't be ducking okay with me meeting with my ex cause they needed someone to lean on. Like I said before I didn't call out, text, or follow her. At this point I am ducking furious and I can't believe what the duck just happened. I take a seat on the couch and try breathing exercises. I am trying to calm down, but it's no use cause I keep remembering Kyle asking do you want me to leave? To my girlfriend. I didn't really elaborate on this beforehand but that poop ducking sent me to another world and I was absolutely about lose my poop to the max. I just kept telling myself it's not worth it, it's not worth it, it's not worth it. At this point all I want to do is beat Kyle's ass, and all my methods for calming down were failing at this point. I just said duck it and picked up my phone and said Siri call old man. I honestly didn't know what I was going to say at this point, but I knew if there was one person who could get through to me it would be my pops. Now I don't remember the exact dialogue that exactly went down, but I'm going to try my best to be as accurate as possible. Phone dialing dad picks up and says I seen it already Vooch dropped 43 on the ass I started laughing a bit and say it's not about that dad I just go into a huge ducking fight with Lily dad, I'm really ducking pissed dad I don't want to do anything stupid. Whoa whoa okay where are you right now? Are you with her? Are you guys okay? Dad, I'm at the crib right now and she just stormed out. Yes I am chilling I just don't know what do me. There's a long pause after this and I hear my pops take a deep breath and say alright alright hit me I began to give him the same rundown I gave you guys in my last post. The whole time my pops is dead silent doesn't say a ducking a word. I finished up the story. All he asked was what does Kyle look like? I won't lie this caught my off guard cause I was like damn dad why the duck does it matter what he looks like. I responded uh I he was white with long curly hair act why? My dad was like no no how tall was he? At this point I'm like wtf dad, uh I'd his ass was like 5 apostrophe 9 max my dad laughs a bit and says explains the Timberlands then, ducking male equivalent of heels I didn't realize it yesterday but what my pops was doing was what he always does I literally can't stay pissed if I laugh and my dad can make me laugh on demand. I started laughing. I was like you right you right he then was like how much you think he weighed? I had to think for a minute but I was like him maybe a buck 55 ish. My pops then brought up the argument between Kyle and I. You said Lily told Kyle to leave after you started to get mad right? Yeah I responded. My dad pauses for a long time again and takes another deep breath my name I wouldn't be surprised if this situation is a lot deeper than it seems. It speaks volumes to me she only rallied for him to leave after you began to get real upset. My name you are 6 apostrophe 0 190 pounds and were just disrespected in your own house by a man you do not know. When a woman cares for someone the last thing she wants is for him to be in harm's way. She understood exactly what was going to happen if the situation continued to escalate, and she chose to get Kyle out of harm's way. Followed by switching all the blame to you and leaving. Honestly son, where do you think she's at right now, I didn't say anything. I knew what he was implying. I know it hurts, but promise me you won't do anything irrational. She made her decision there's not much you can do to change it. You've proven your whole life you're one of one don't lose yourself now over something that will just end up a tiny bump on your roadmap. I mean seriously I couldn't be more ducking proud of you son. You're 22 living on your own in city, you got your poop together that's rare my name, you're rare my name. The right women like your mom for me I laughed a little will walk into your life when you least expect it. Don't waste your energy. Everything happens for a reason son. I paused for a minute and said, thank you I needed this dad my dad laughed of course your mom and I are here for you always. Ends call, fast forward back to this morning. I couldn't sleep for poop last night so this morning was just completely ass. Lily was blowing up my phone the whole night apologizing and begging for my forgiveness. 
It's around 11 a.m. at this point I'm completely just over this situation. I still haven't responded to her since she stormed off last night. In my opinion she made her choice. However, I got a long ass week ahead of me and can't be having this poop continue to impact me this much going forward. I eat something and head down to my apartment's local gym to just run on lifting days I go to a private gym and on cardio days I use the apartment's gym. Running is therapeutic for me. Around 1 o'clock I got a phone call and you guessed it, it was from Lily. No part of me wanted to pick up the phone, but we've been dating for 2.5 years. I felt obligated. Picks up phone what's up? I say to be immediately met with crying I'm sorry my name I love you to death. Please just talk to me. I shouldn't have left last night. I panicked. You know I love you my name I didn't say anything my name please talk to me. This isn't right, please just talk to your girlfriend. I'm sorry. I told you nothing happened, I won't ever talk to him again please I beg can we just talk. At this point the realization of my feelings for her started to really kick in. Instead of anger, sorrow, or any emotion tbh I just felt a sense of indifference when she spoke. I responded can you come over around 3? Still crying at this point yes 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 she says. Okay I say ends call. I'm just sitting on the sofa now at this time just waiting for 3 to roll around. Scrolling through the comments on my previous post. Knock knock I hear from the hallway. Shortly after I see my girlfriend emerge from the mini hallway. She begins to start smiling and crying while wiping her tears. Again I take notice of how I feel at this moment. A sense of indifference. A feeling I don't care about anymore. It really started to hit me, 2.5 years wasted just like that. The woman who I cared so deeply for just 24 hours before now is in front of me crying and I don't feel a thing. Lily, it's over between us I said. Completely shocked, she barely manages to mutter out what? While still crying. It's over I repeated. My name my name my name my name my name no 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 no. Please, I'm sorry. Don't end this between us I love you to death she said hysterically. Now I won't lie that last bit hit hard. I mean ducking hard man. I couldn't mask it anymore, the lid had been broken. Don't end this between us? I say. Lily, I'm sorry I can't take this poop anymore. I don't know what impression I gave you over our relationship, but I won't stay in a relationship with a woman who thinks that ducking little of me. You made the decision to end poop between us when invited your ex into my apartment behind my ducking back Lily. That is something I refuse to let slide Lily at this point my thoughts just begin to flow out of my mouth like a ducking tidal wave. No man is that cocky for no reason Lily. I'm not a ducking fool Lily. You gave him some type of reassurance to give him the confidence to act like that. Poop you even backed him in front of me. Why the duck would I stay with someone who's not going to have my back? Absolutely bawling at this point Lily say I'm sorry my name I love you I'm sorry. Y'all can call me whatever you want but at this point I just went soft. I didn't have the heart to keep drilling her anymore. She was just breaking down crying uncontrollably. I just sat down in silence. My name I'm sorry it won't happen again my name I love you only you. I won't ever talk to him again I want I promise. My name please just give me one more chance said Lily. I'm completely silent. I mean there was just a huge ducking pressure on my chest it felt like my rib cage was gonna crack under the pressure. Sat there silently listening to her crying I remembered one my favorite songs I'd rather have loyalty than love, cause love really don't mean jack, see love is just a feeling, you can love somebody and still stab them in they back, it don't take much to love, you can love somebody just by being attached, see loyalty is action, you can love or hate me and still have my back 21 savage. I just kept repeating those lyrics in my head over and over and over again. To many, it might seem she said all the right things, but to me actions speak louder than words. Last night she chose to make her decision on us through her actions, and since actions speak louder than words it really didn't matter what she said. I'm struggling to keep it together at this point. I really did love her, poop I still ducking do, but I understood this was what's best for me. I wouldn't have been able to trust her again. You can't be in a relationship without trust or loyalty. I lost both from her. As she cries I look up and say Lily please, it's over. There's no saving this she looks at me and says my name no please just stop it's over Lily I interrupt. Please just do us both a favor and take your things and leave Lily. It's over please let's just end it here. She doesn't say anything and gets up and starts grabbing some of her things around their apartment. I grabbed a garbage bag and helped her pack. She left the keys to my apartment on the table and left. 
This all finished up around 4.30 today I've just been sitting here trying to process what the duck just happened. Honestly it all still doesn't feel real. I never intended on posting on Reddit yesterday, but I just needed a place to ducking vent and since it blew up I felt like it I should update y'all today. It's 7.35 as I finish writing this. I'm ducking hurt. The weight of what the duck just went down over the last 24 hours doesn't real. To anyone actually who actually read this long ass update, thank you. To those who commented on my previous post, then you, I ducking needed a place to vent last night. Relevant comments. I tried to be as transparent as possible and show both sides to the best of my ability. What y'all read was my raw emotion. Over the last month I've picked up journaling on my self-improvement journey. It's really helps understand your own thoughts. Last night I decided to post to this sub instead of my notes app. I appreciate the kind words you all have given me. I'm going to continue to work on myself and push forward. Your ages? My ex and I are both 22. You know Lily best do you think she cheated? I avoided talking about this and as many are criticizing in the comments I didn't ask questions. I don't know what they talked about, I don't know where she went that night I'm left with my own imagination on that. The fact of the matter it doesn't matter if they engaged in s time mool activities or not. It wouldn't have changed the outcome. My frustrations were never about that. It was the lack of respect she displayed towards me. I don't know if she physically cheating and honestly I don't care. Multiple deal breakers were broken with the information I do have.